Uh, this is from our briefing um, this morning. Uh, still expecting some light snowfall tonight over most of the area outside of the Outer Banks. Uh, the impact is expected to be fairly limited because our ground uh, soil temperatures are still very warm. We'll kind of show you a map on that. Uh, still expecting a period of very strong winds later this afternoon and tonight. Um, some minor sound, sound, sound side flooding, uh, one to two feet above ground. We'll focus on that. And also some minor ocean wash, uh, over um, wash because of the uh, larger waves we're expecting. Some scattered power outages, especially uh, right along the coast itself. And then the biggest impact uh, for marine areas, seas up to 12 feet and gale force conditions over most of the waters. So a lot of that has not changed. And this is from the briefing uh, that you all should have in your inbox from earlier today. Again, uh, greatest impacts limited overall for snow and hazardous travel. And uh, that's because we have a very, very warm ground. So that's going to limit a lot of the accumulation to grassy surfaces uh, mainly. Uh, we do expect some winds along the coast and that will produce some coastal flooding. The limiting factor for that coastal flooding is it's a very short period of strong winds later today and tonight. Uh, then as we get into first thing tomorrow morning, but winds really die down by the afternoon. So that will uh, definitely li limit the impact with that. I want to hop out of the presentation and show you some of the uh, things that are going on across the state right now. This is the uh, radar. The storm itself is taking shape off the coast. Uh, some of the steadier rain impacting the Outer Banks now and real scattered stuff over our area now. Some scattered light rain showers, temperatures well above freezing, no concerns with accumulating snows uh, through 4 o'clock this afternoon. Again, just rain, uh, very scattered now, but this area will fill in. The reason why I want to show you this, there's a disturbance higher up in the atmosphere that's kind of rotating through western North Carolina now. Ahead of it, steady precipitation uh, out of South Carolina, central North Carolina into southern Virginia. The leading edge of this is all in the form of rain, uh, but as you get back to the west toward Greensboro, up toward Dansville, Roanoke, Lynchburg, up into Virginia, this middle and back edge is snow. And this is what's going to pivot eastward uh, through our area this evening, and that's why we're anticipating that change over to snow uh, roughly between four and seven uh, points inland. This is a, a North Carolina DOT map showing um, not a lot of issues at all on the area roads um, back through the Raleigh area. And again, this is just showing that not anticipating any issues through the school ride home this afternoon, uh, just rain and temperatures well above freezing. As you get back toward Greensboro, uh, that's where we have seen some snow uh, for a good chunk of this afternoon. Uh, we have seen some uh, issues with uh, accumulating snow, especially on the secondary roads and grassy surfaces. I'm going to zoom in uh, to some of these maps. Uh, this is I-40. You can see the main road still mainly wet. Most of the accumulation is in uh, the grassy surfaces, but if you look really carefully on the side, that shoulder area on I-40, a little bit of accumulating snow there. The reason why I'm showing you this is we think most of our impacts are going to be similar in that the bulk of any snow sticks to elevated surfaces, uh, grassy surfaces, car tops. If we were to see an accumulation of snow on the roads, uh, probably would be the sides of them and secondary roads, so not the main thoroughfares uh, for that. One of the reasons for that is the temperature. Uh, th this is uh, current temperatures as of noon, uh, still very warm, uh, low to mid-40s in our area, but you can see with a uh, cold rain in Durham uh, in the upper 30s, but back toward the Greensboro area, uh, surface temperature is closer to freezing, and that cold air will be gradually working into our area this evening. I want to switch the view over to the soil temperature map, and that kind of tells the story as well. Uh, we've been very, very... Um, mild recently, not, not in terms of uh, compared to normal, but we've been well above freezing during the day, and so our soil temperatures are warm. Back where they are seeing some snow sticking to the ground, the soil temperature is about 40 degrees. That's about four inches below the surface. Uh, we're closer to 50 uh, for our end of the state. Again, that's going to limit accumulations on the main roadway surfaces. That's going to keep them to grassy areas, elevated surfaces, and maybe the, the sides of the roads. Uh, where it's well less travel. So a little bit of background why we don't expect uh, major problems on the roads themselves. Uh, this is a computer model forecast um, that's very, very close to our forecast. So I kind of want to take you in time as we get into this afternoon, again, some uh, rain filling in across the area, uh, maybe some gaps, but don't let your guard down because as we get between four and six, that's been pretty consistent. I'm going to toggle back and forth between four and six, 
especially the western part of our area over toward um, Greene County, uh, Greenville, so north central Pitt, and the western part of Martin County, uh, that change over to snow occurring, again, between 4 and 6 o'clock. At this point, temperatures still well above freezing, soil temperatures well above freezing, so initially uh, just st sticking to the grass. Our time of concern would be this evening, uh, roughly between 7 and midnight. I'm going to continue to toggle uh, back and forth uh, that transition to snow, uh, first across the north central part of our area, and then by 10 or 11 o'clock, pretty much over most of the area outside of the Outer Banks. We do think we'll see some snowflakes as far south as the Crystal Coast, uh, down through Onslow County. But as I go back a little bit, 9, 10 o'clock, that should be the peak of the snowfall tonight. And as I hover above the snow, you'll see the number 33, 36. That's an indication of um, intensity on our radar. We think we're going to have some high reflectivities on the radar this evening. And that's a good indication that although it's a short window, probably talking a two to three hour window where we have a chance for snow, it's going to come down rather hard. And because of the snowfall rate, that's why we still think we could get a little bit of accumulation on elevated bridges, the sides of roads uh, during that max snowfall. The heaviest snowfall intensities looks to be between Greenville, uh, just north of New Bern, and then up toward the Washington area. So roughly about the central uh, part of our uh, forecast area. And as we loop this through, uh, while we do see some snow down toward Duplin County and Wallace and down toward Jacksonville, it's very, very quick and the intensities are much lighter. So we're thinking our lowest amounts are going to be on the southwest part of our forecast area, down along the Crystal Coast, and up through the Outer Banks where we don't expect any snow. And the highest amounts, places like Greenville, uh, near or just north of New Bern. So let's go to our snowfall map. Uh, this is as of this morning. I just talked to Tom Laca, one of the forecasters uh, that's working on the uh, forecast update this afternoon. A lot of this is not going to change. Williamston, Greenville, Washington, uh, again, north of New Bern. It's those areas uh, up to an inch, maybe two at most uh, for snowfall. Uh, he might extend it a little bit farther east toward Columbia, but for all intents and purposes, the bullseye would be up in this area. Uh, where they may make some changes uh, this afternoon would be Kenansville, Trenton, roughly south of uh, Route 70, uh, this southwest part of our area may go a little bit lighter, and that's just because we don't think uh, the intensity of the precipitation will, will um, be as hard and it won't last as long. So again, uh, Greenville, Washington, Williamston, uh, over toward Plymouth, maybe just west of Columbia, that's kind of the bullseye uh, for our uh, heavier snowfall amounts. Now, we do expect the wind to pick up later this afternoon and tonight. Uh, the storm itself is off the coast, but as it develops and moves to the northeast, our pressure gradient, that's the difference in pressure, is very, very strong. So it's going to be a brief period. Uh, we think most of the area uh, will have some wind gusts up over 20, 25 miles per hour. Uh, but the coastal counties up toward 30 miles per hour, Moorhead City, uh, down through Columbia and Swan Quarter, and perhaps some gusts over 45 miles per hour along the outer banks. Initially, the wind speed or direction will be uh, northeast and north through this evening, and then becoming northwest overnight. Uh, so that's definitely an issue we're watching. Because of the strong winds, uh, we do expect some coastal flooding. On the ocean side, it's mainly because of the, the waves. Um, the gauge here in Duck, the forecast is to stay just below uh, action stage, uh, but we still have you folks in the coastal flood advisory, and that's because uh, we expect the waves to get up to 12 feet. And then we had a lot of issues with the storm a week and a half ago, um, you know, breaching the dunes. So there's uh, still some uh, vulnerability there. Uh, so there could be some ocean uh, overwash in that area. As far as pure coastal flooding goes, uh, because of wind, um, this is the gauge down in Hatteras. I know, Drew, you're probably on. Uh, still around three feet, and that would be equivalent of one to two feet above ground. Uh, the thing that's saving us, it's a, a less than 12-hour window. Uh, that will keep us down toward that two uh, foot above ground value. Uh, and then the winds really, really die down uh, by t uh, Tuesday afternoon. Uh, so that's what we're thinking with that. Back to the briefing itself, our uh, next briefing, we don't plan on any more webinars uh, this afternoon. And again, the main point of this was uh, we were getting enough questions. We want to try to answer them all at once. We've got on here by 6 o'clock uh, this afternoon. That's a little bit of a buffer. Uh, more than likely, we're going to try to get that out by 4 or 4.30. Um, the one thing you'll see with that is a slight update to the snowfall map, especially over the southwest part of our area. Otherwise, uh, we don't anticipate major changes with that.